unanswered about what exactly the bomb squad detonated in Moberly. We first reported a bomb squad detonated an unidentified material from a home on Russ Haven Drive last night. ABC 17's Deborah Kendrick joins us live from the site of the detonation in Moberly. And uh, Deborah, authorities say a resident was making the material in question uh, as a hobby. That's right, Marissa. That's just about all we know uh, about the owner of those materials. Now, I was told it was some kind of recreational activity, but we still don't know what the exact hobby was. Now, I can confirm at this time that it was a male. It was a male owner of those materials, and he is fully cooperating with police during the investigation. Now, the information that was released today to ABC 17 News is still limited, but at this time, we do not know what that exact material was, and we don't really know if they're going to charge him with any kind of crime criminal action or even financially for all the resources that were used last night. Now there was an initial call that was made a month ago which led detectives back to the man's home and that's when they found the material in which they saw they said that this was a potentially unstable material which could pose a hazard safety. Now they did have experts on the scene that decided to uh, go back into the house and back out to a park which is uh, right behind me here and that's where they decided this would be safest to destroy all that material. Now, they did say that if it wasn't safe, they wouldn't have destroyed the material right here where I know a lot of children uh, do play in the park, and there's a lot of schools around the area as well. Now, um, I did ask the chief of uh, Moberly Police that, was this a potential act of terrorism? And here's what he had to say about that. Yeah, at this point, there doesn't seem to be any indication that this was uh, any kind of a uh, uh, threat for domestic terrorism or, you know, uh, the word bomb was used by some folks last night. There's no indication that, that that's what this gentleman was doing. Uh, again, it seems to be more of a byproduct of a recreational hobby that he participates in. Now, he also told me that the investigation could take months due to the fact that no one was hurt and there was no criminal activity as of right now because the investigation is still continuing, which means that we could be waiting months until we find out what exactly that material was inside that home. Now, I did speak to residents in the area today here in Moberly, and a lot of them didn't really want to comment on camera, but they were definitely concerned about what happened last night because Moberly is a town that really doesn't have this kind of activity. I mean, today I was out here and uh, looking at the hole here, and I mean, residents were just driving by, taking a look at it because this is something that really doesn't uh, affect this kind of area. Now, I did speak with the superintendent of the Moberly School District, and she said that she was definitely aware of the situation and that they were prepared if they needed to make any uh, necessary steps. And we will definitely keep you updated uh, as the investigation still continues. Live here in Moberly, Deborah Kendrick, ABC 17 News. Thanks, Deborah.